Oh boy, I'm so excited for this video. I like how it's like several weeks after Christmas and I refuse to let go of the red lip. I also have the white nails on, which is also like snow or Canada day. Perhaps I'm just celebrating early. I also put up some snowflakes back there just for fun. Snow, winter, that's all I got. <laughs> and I'm losing a lot of daylight, so let's get into this. Hello everyone, I am here today to share with you my top 10 favorite high-end products of 2015. I am so excited about these videos. I love doing these at the end of every year, or I guess the beginning of the following year. Whatever. Potato, potato. And I will also be doing one for a drugstore as well, so stay tuned for that. That will be going up next week, I believe. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's get into this. <laughs> Diving in. Number one, first product on the list. <laughs> Ding! This is the Becca Highlight, no, sorry. Becca Backlight, not Highlight. There's so many different types of light, I just can't keep track of them. It just gives you a beautiful glow to the skin that I am absolutely obsessed with. I either combine this with my liquid foundation or I put it on and then put powder foundation on top or just mix it in with my moisturizer and call it a day. Regardless, it gives you this beautiful luminescent quality to your skin and for that reason, loved this for 2015. I'm just gonna go in like random order. I have no particular order to this. So next is this one. This is the Butter London Iconoclast um, Mascara and I love this. I got this in the summertime when I went to LA. So I bought this at Ulta, I wanna say. Here in the Canada, we do not have Ulta. It gives you these beautiful fluttery lashes that are like, I have natural lashes like, but whoa Nelly on like some other level. It's so easy to apply and you can get like the little tiny lashes like in the corner. I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. With this little like ball thing at the end so you can get into those like little nitty gritty grooves and just get every single lash coated and it's such a nice formula and a beautiful mascara, so. Love this. Next is the foundation that I'm actually wearing on my skin right now. And that is the Amore Pacific, I don't actually know, is that how you pronounce it? Amore, I think it's just Amore. And this is their Color Control Cushion Compact. Whoa, say that five times fast. Color Control Cushion Compact, Color Control Cushion Compact, Color Control Cushion Nope, can't do it. Anyway, it's one of those cushiony foundations and it gives you this beautiful, really light coverage, um, but still enough that like when you put it on, you do notice that your skin just looks flawless like it's so easy to apply you can just kind of like pat it on your face and you're done it's not mattifying it's not super hydrating it just gives this beautiful flawless look to your skin and for that reason it is one of my top tens and I really really highly recommend this foundation next up what do we got oh I know what this is yeah that's what I thought melted I've talked about it in in pretty much every single favorites video. The Too Faced Melted lipsticks are by far one of my favorites in terms of formula. I think they're so nice. They are literally, they feel like a melted down lipstick on your lips, really highly pigmented, beautiful finish to the lips, and the colors are gorgeous. One of my favorites is Melted Fuchsia. I also have Melted Berry. I have Melted Violet. I have Melted the nude one, I don't know, I have like a million of them. We talked about this a little bit in the video with Kaylin because she also loves these and so if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out, it's my winter essentials. But this is just a beautiful long wearing lipstick and I really, really recommend it. Really pretty. How many times do you think I can say been loving them or loving them or loved them or in love with them in this video? Over under 15, anyone? <laughs> Any guesses? Any takers? Next up, what are we on? One, two, three, four, five. But number five, this is the uh, Urban Decay Brow Beater Microfine Brow Pencil and Brush in Taupe. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. First of all, it is very, very thin. Like it's like a little itty bitty pencil, like thin. Itty bitty bitty. The second reason is I really like that the spool is on one end and the pencil's on the other end. Now, anytime I try and use anything else, I just turn it over and like poke my eyebrows a couple times because there's no spool on the end. And so when I'm like brushing my brows in and then I add some more and then I brush it in, it's just very convenient and easy to use. I lost it for like a good solid couple of weeks and I almost went out and bought a new one even though I knew it was somewhere in this room because that's how much I love it. Makeup gets lost a lot in this room. You can't see the floor, but it's a disaster in here. Next we have another mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, which I talked about in the springtime and this is my second bottle. I love this stuff. It is such a gorgeous mascara, especially if you have really hard to curl lashes. I can build a lot of really nice volume into my lashes. It works great with other mascaras too. I like to like experiment and combine mascaras. So I really like putting on this first and then putting on like the Better Than Sex mascara or any, like really any of them, except for this one. Cause this one is a little bit more of like an everyday. So I'm not really trying to build, it doesn't matter. I really like this to like combine with other ones. It doesn't flake just really, really good and I 
I'm obsessed with it. Now onto a palette, which is a two-in-one palette for me, though not as advertised. It is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, and I love using this not so much for contour, but for my eyes, contouring my eyes. So I guess still contouring, just a different part of my face. It's what I have in my eyes right now, and it's just got a good variety of colors to create that really beautiful blended neutral look. I don't know if you're supposed to use it on your eyes, but I do, and it doesn't bother my eyeballs, so. I don't know what to tell you. And then my absolute favorite highlight from 2015, even though I really got it towards the end of 2015, I have been using it so much that I had to include it. And that is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. Um, this is just such a beautiful color. It gives a very, very strong highlight, and I love that. It gives this gorgeous glow to the cheeks. You just look fresh and alive and awake and gorgeous, and oh, it's such a beautiful color. Um, and I use it pretty much every single time I wear makeup. It has by far been my most used highlight of the year. And lastly, I wanted to talk about my Hourglass Trio because I was going to mention it in another video. I forget what video it was, but somebody called me out because I forgot to talk about it. And they're like, I thought you were going to mention the trio. I'm like, no. And it is the um, Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. And it's the triple one here. And I use this actually quite a lot to set under my eyes um, because I think it just gives this nice luminosity. It kind of cancels out any of the blue tones dragging under my eyes. It's just a really beautiful palette. I, as you can see by the huge dent in this one, this is the one I use the most often or I mix these two and I use this one to just sort of like dust over the outs outskirts? Outside? Outskirts? I don't even know where I came up with that. It just gives this nice luminescent quality to the skin without being too crazy like champagne pop on the cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's just a beautiful finishing powder, so I've been using this a lot in 2015. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like these sort of like end of the year roundups of products and stay tuned to see my drugstore favorites as well because I will be doing that uh, probably for next week. And um, if you have any other requests of videos that you want to see, leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear from you guys. Uh, I might do like a skincare favorites if you guys want to see that as well because I've been trying out like a whole bunch of different products. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and all that fun stuff. I would love to chat with you guys more. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing start to 2016 and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.